Hello everyone, it's good to be with you again today. Today we are going to continue on our journey through the Old Testament with another story about the Israelites conquering the Promised Land. But first, let's sing together.
Last week, our memory verse was Psalms 121, verse 5b. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade. Today, our memory verse is Psalms 121, verse 7. The Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. Please say it with me. Psalms 121, verse 7. The Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. Let's sing one more song together. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got the whole world. God has chosen Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt and into the Promised Land. Unfortunately, Moses did not always obey what God told him to do. Because of this, God told Moses that he would not lead the Israelites into the Promised Land. So when it was time for the people of Israel to go into the land that God had promised them, God took Moses up to the mountain to see the Promised Land. He did this because he knew that Moses was about to die. Moses knew this too. So he asked God to give the people of Israel a leader. God already had somebody in mind. We read about that in the book of Joshua. Please watch this video with me to see what happened. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joshua. This is Joshua. Joshua was an Israelite who followed Moses through the wilderness. Joshua learned from Moses as Moses led the Israelites through the Red Sea. And as Moses taught the people about God's law. listen up. One day, Moses was talking to the Israelites. He was reminding them of the law and all that God had done for them. Yeah. I'll be here, are you? When Moses had finished giving instructions to the people, he said, I am no longer able to lead you. Hold on. Do not be afraid, for God will neither fail you nor abandon you. Yeah. Then Moses called Joshua Me? and told him to be strong and courageous, for he would lead the Israelites into the promised land. Okay. Then Moses died. Uh... To this day, no one knows exactly where he was buried. The people and all of Israel mourned. Uh -huh. The people of Israel looked to Joshua to lead them, as Moses had told them. There we go. Yeah. God told Joshua to be strong and courageous, for he would be with Joshua wherever he went. He told him to remember what Moses had told him and to study the book of instruction. God told Joshua that it was time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Joshua told the Israelite officials to go throughout the camp. They instructed everyone to pack up and get ready to head out. Joshua told the Israelites they were going to cross the Jordan River. See here, there's what I'm gonna do, okay? And so, Joshua prepared to lead his people 
as the Lord had commanded. When God told Joshua it was time to take the promised land, Joshua sent spies into the city of Jericho. While those spies were in Jericho, Come on. they were protected by a woman named Rahab. The spies promised to spare Rahab and her family when they took back the land. Yay! And she hung a scarlet cord from her window to remind them of their promise. See you soon! Now the Israelites had crossed the Jordan and were camped near the town of Jericho. Hey, hello! One day, Joshua looked up, huh? and there was a man standing before him. Hello. The man said, I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Joshua asked what the man wanted to tell him, and the Lord said he wanted Joshua to take the city of Jericho. All right. But that Joshua needed to follow his instructions exactly. You got it. Jericho was shut for fear of the Israelites. Yeah, well, huh? yeah, well. No one came out and no one came in. So the Lord told Joshua to gather his soldiers. And march around the city for six days. Mary. The priests were to take the Ark of the Covenant and seven priests were to go in front of it, blowing a ram's horn. On the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times and blow the horn. Then all the people of Israel were to give a great shout. Then what? And then the city walls would fall. Oh, yeah, let's do it. So Joshua said, shout for the Lord has given you the city. And the people did shout. Yeah! and the walls did fall. Go! The Israelites overtook the city of Jericho as God had commanded. Rahab! They remembered Rahab because of her faithfulness. Joshua was faithful in carrying out God's commands, and the Israelites took many other cities as God told them they would. Oh, nice. For God will never fail to fulfill his promises. So the Israelites came to live in the land that God had promised Abraham, Isaac, Israel, Joseph, and Moses many years ago. What can we learn from today's story? When Moses died, God gave Joshua the special task of leading Israel into the promised land. God's constant reminder to Joshua was to be strong and courageous because God was with him. A hero is somebody who is courageous and brave. Joshua was a true hero because he served God with his whole heart. Whatever God calls us to do, we know that God is with us through his Holy Spirit. So let us pray. Dear Lord, help us to be like Joshua, to be strong in our faith, and please help us to obey your word and do what it commands us to do. Help us to not be scared and to tell other people about the love and forgiveness that you give. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to close this lesson with one more song, so please sing with me. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may
And now you can do the activities that go with this lesson. I hope you have a great day and a great week and I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.